What's your favorite Rod Dahl story? Oh, gosh. I haven't thought about him quite intentionally for a long time. Um, but I would say, I mean, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like Matilda is an obvious answer. It comes up, you know, but I don't, I don't know. I also will have to admit, and this is really embarrassing, that my first introduction to Roald Dahl was The Witches. And it was, I mean, I thought it was really scary and not much scared me as a child. And so just because it scared me, I was like, huh, this is the real deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but I mean, I, I find that book to be wildly problematic right now. So um, I actually am a huge fan of his adult fiction. <laughs> he writes short stories for adults that are really weird. And the thing is, I ex I read them when I was way too young because I think my parents just got me the books. So, oh, it's it's by Roald Dahl. It's obviously for children. Uh, spoiler alert: These are very adult stories. <laughs> so do not do not share them with your kids. So you know, I think he has this knack of um, you know just having these twist endings that are slightly dark and macabre, and that kind of developed my palette for that as well at a very young age. Um, but back to your original question. Gosh, I'm, I'm blanking. Um, I was happy I with know. The Witches. That's my favorite. <laughs> I don't know. And it is so first. problematic, but, but so scary. Yeah. I, the Witches was, like, Roald Dahl was one of my favorite authors when I was a kid, and I loved The Witches as a kid. Yeah. And then a few yeah. years ago, we were, I was hanging out with, like, one of my librarian friends, and she was like, yeah, like, unfortunately, The Witches is anti-Semitic. And I was like, yeah. what? Like, where's the, because, like, I'm Jewish, too. And I was like, wait, where's the character? And she's like, well, it's about a, it's about a, diasporic internationally globalist race of malicious assimilators where you can't tell who they are unless you look closely at their noses uh, with unlimited access to wealth and they want to poison your children and I was like oh that's just like yeah yeah that's just that's just like every conspiracy theory about yeah. Oh, come on, man. I just had it down as sexist. I, I didn't know about that part. No, I'm so sorry. No, it, no, Rob, that ruined my day. Like, I was, was having a nice lunch with my friend, and I literally had to, like, go to the bathroom and hyperventilate. I was like, that, that that's why they want to admit it. I was like, oh, like, I think it's the witches, even though the witches. But, like, it's, it's about Jews. Like, they turn into rats at the end. Like, it's literally, like, uh, I'm so sorry. It ruined my day. It ruined my day because I, I lied. I said that thing that Sada said up front about people not reading and publishing would be the most heartbreaking thing in this podcast. No, <laughs> so it wasn't. It's like it's like I didn't <laughs> notice it until we started actually, and I was like, oh no, like oh, I'm so, I'm I'm sorry to ruin your day. That's it's. Oh, yeah. immediate topic change. All right. So, Kyle, <laughs> what can you tell us <laughs> about uh, if you're Please a kid like me. Gavin uh, coming here in summer of 2022 and live with that uh, in spring of 2021? Okay. Number one, please don't hate me. I'm so sorry for ruining your day. Um, but you didn't write the book. You just <laughs> came by the knowledge. Um, <laughs> Um, um, um. Oh, okay. So if you're a kid like Gavin, is come is a picture book biography coming out next year at some point that I co-wrote with Gavin Grimm, who is uh he's like 20 or 21 now, but when he was in high school, he had to sue his school to let him use the boys' bathroom after he came out as trans. Um, like just the the trauma that this kid had to endure at like 15 or 16 is unimaginable to me. Um, and I feel like deeply and profoundly honored that he's like trusting me to work with him on his picture book biography. Um, and then, so actually Live With That was the original title of Too Bright to See. Um, we changed it to Too Bright to See at some point in the process, but I have another middle grade coming out from the same publisher. We don't have a title for that yet either. No, we don't. Um, it might have the word vegetables in the title. I really That's hope all we can it, say. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope that it has the word vegetables in the title. Yeah. Um, but that one is, it. it is another story about how being trans can be the beginning of a story and not the conclusion. And I don't uh, know if I'm mean, allowed to say more about that because I don't know how two book processes work. I think that's good enough. <laughs> Fine. 
Ah, and my uh, last question uh, for each of you is always some variation of, although before I ask it, I must say, uh, right up until you destroyed my childhood, Kyle, this has been the most lovely <laughs> conversation. <laughs> I have really enjoyed uh, talking with both of you. Uh, no, you know what? You gave me knowledge. I'm better informed now. Uh, next time someone says The Witch is by Roald Dahl, it's be real quiet. I, I don't even know what book that is. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs>